Hello everyone! In this video, I will walk you through how to complete the Brassage Exotic Quest. You will need the Season Pass for Season of the Chosen to access this quest, and this guide will be a little longer than usual as there are a lot of steps to completing the activity tied to the quest. To begin this quest, head into the Arms Dealer Strike and near the start a new door will be open. Fight your way through enemies and eventually you will find a data pad inside a box. Return to Savala after picking this up and you will be able to launch the quest from the Tangle Shore map. After loading into the mission, look to your left. There will be platforms to parkour across. Follow these platforms all the way around the ship and you will come to a doorway. Inside, just follow the corridors until you get to a grate. Break this and keep going through to keep following the tunnel. In the next room, there will be a grate on the left wall behind some pipes you can go through. Through the grate, head to the back of the next area and jump up behind you. Follow more tunnels and break the grate on the floor. In the next area, there will be a lever as you come inside. This opens up a path back to where you started, but isn't needed for anything else. Elsewhere in the room, you will find a shimmering wall, which is one of this quest's mechanics. You cannot go through this wall and will get damaged if you try. However, if you stand next to the glowing spore pods by the shimmering and shoot them, you will get a temporary buff that allows you to pass through these walls for the duration. Go through and at the back left of the room, climb up and go through the vent in the wall. Continue on and jump through a hole in the roof to get out. Keep climbing and walking through the vents till you drop down a hole. There will be screebs in the room behind you when you drop down, so be careful of these. Kill the screebs and head to the back of the room they were in to activate a lever. This lever will open a door next to where you fell down, revealing more spores. There is another shimmering wall across the gap, so you'll need to get the buff from the spores, jump across and get through the shimmering. There'll be more screebs after you go down a small drop. Jump up at the back of the screeb area and head through the door almost straight ahead. Parker over the gap. Here, there will be a fuse and breaking these will cause things to happen, which in this case is opening the door. There will be more enemies upon dropping down. If you stand where you came in, you'll want to head towards the back wall and jump up to your right. There'll be a lever in the corner which opens up a door on the other side of the room. Head into this door, follow the path and jump across the gap to pull another lever. Head back into the room you just came from and as soon as you enter, drop down and look behind the platform you were just on. There'll be a fuse to shoot. Head back to where you just jumped across to get the lever and drop down. There'll be a platform and a door. After going down the slide, you enter the next encounter. After you activate the lever on one of the walls, the floor will slide open, revealing lots of grates with four of them having a blue glow fuse underneath. You need to break these fuses to open a hatch in the floor. During this though, there will be enemies spawning and the walls will slowly move inwards to crush you. Get down the hatch before the walls fully close to complete it. Jump up on the pipe on the side of the hatch room to crawl further in and drop down to get into a fight of some scorn. Once all the enemies are dead, head further through the door that opened up and follow the path forward. After some running you will get into another fight room with two abominations and various scorn. Once the room is clear, head to the side looking into space in the back corner to find more platforms to parkour across and head back inside the other hangar. Here you need to climb up to get to the next door. After crawling through more pipes and getting to the next room, head to your left to find a lever to pull which opens a room of more spores. There is another shimmering wall on the other side of the room which you'll need the spores to get through. In the next room there will be more screebs. Behind a pillar in the middle of the room there will be a lever which reveals a fuse across the room. There is an electricity field above you which the fuse deactivates, but only for a short time before it activates again. You can shoot the fuse as many times as you like, but to get through you will need to shoot it from across the room and quickly jump up. After jumping up there, there will be a lever on the right side to open a path to the left, with another lever being down that path. 
Exit the room through the door that just opened and there will be a new set of spores for you to use behind an open door. Grab the spore buff to get through a shimmering wall at the end of the room. Heading forward you will find another room of enemies. Now there is a door near the back of the room, but you do not want to go into it. This is a death trap that will kill you. Might be fun to trick your friends with though. Close to this door you will find a lever on a big yellow object in the room. This lever will open a door of a turret in it back where you came from. Break the turret and the fuse inside of that room to open a door with more spores. In the back corner near the trap area, there is a shimmering floor you will need to go through using the spore buff. In the red room full of panels you drop down into, you only need to open the sections that are two panels wide. One will have the spores behind it, while the other has a shimmering wall if you go into it and take the first left turn. There will be some screeps down here, so be careful. Grab the spore buff and run down the corridor to get through the shimmering wall. Pull the lever there to proceed forward. You will end up back in a previous room, but now an extra shimmering wall is open. Use the spores from earlier to get through this new wall and fight more enemies. There will be a lever at the back left of the room which reveals a fuse to your right. This fuse opens a door near where you came into the room with the spores. Grab the buff and go through the shimmering wall at the right back of the room to reach a parkour section. There is a ghost hidden here, but it has no use yet. Parkour through the room towards the back left and turn around. There will be a fuse to break. Then jump up to the platform next to you to pull a lever which opens the door of a turret behind it. Keep this in mind for a minute, although it's not needed to progress. The fuse you broke will have opened the door along the wall with a shimmering wall and spores behind it. Backtrack all the way to the entrance of the area and grab the spore buff there. Get to the shimmering wall in the middle of the area you just opened and refresh your buff with the spores behind it. Then parkour to the end of the room and get through the wall there. You will find a rally flag and are about to enter the boss fight. There is a lever there which will open a door behind where you found a turret earlier, revealing more spores. This lets other people get through the shimmering wall more easily after one person has done it. Now it is time for the boss. Rally up and head on further in using the spores in the room. To begin, you will need to damage the boss enough to make him leave the room while fighting off enemies. The boss is now below you in the boiler room, but this room is on fire and will burn you to death if you drop down. Once the room is cleared, there will be three levers you can pull. One on each end of the room, and one in a room to the side. The side room has fire in it though, just like below, and it will burn you if you stay in there too long. You will want to either get a warlock to do this, or make sure it's the last lever you pull, as pulling all three will shut off the fire. You can now drop down to the level below using gaps in the floor around the room, and fight the boss. The boss has a long range fire attack, and will slam you into walls, so keep your distance, and swap holes if he gets too close. Once he reaches a tick on his health bar, the fire will turn back on downstairs, so quickly jump back up to the floor above and repeat the process two more times. During phase two and three, more ants will also spawn upstairs while you are damaging him below, so make sure to clear these out. Once the boss is dead, a door will open up upstairs for you to go through, and you will reach the end of the mission, where you can grab Dead Man's Tail, the exotic scout rifle. And that is the end of the presage mission and the exotic quest! If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to check out the links in the description below, including a partner link with Gaming Gains who creates Destiny props, and every purchase will support the channel. I hope this guide was useful, and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!